ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் திஸ் இஸ் டாக்டர் பிரவீன் செல்வம் எம்டி இன்டர்ல மெடிசன் ஆஃபன் வி ஆர் கியூரியஸ்லி ஆஸ்க் பை அவர் இன்டர்ன்ஸ் பிஜிஸ் ஜெயாஸ் அண்ட் சம்டைம்ஸ் பேராமெடிக்கல் ஸ்டாஃப் ஆன் விச் இஸ் த ஐடியல் சர்டிஃபிகேட் கோர்ஸ் ஆன் இசிஜிஸ் ஸோ டுடே லெட்ஸ் எக்ஸ்ப்ளோர் த ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் அவைலபிள் த டாப் த்ரீ ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் வுட் பி ஒர்க் ஷாப்ஸ் ஆன்லைன் போர்ட்டல்ஸ் அண்ட் ஸ்பான்சர்ட் கோர்சஸ் வாட் ஆர் த அட்வான்டேஜஸ் ஆஃப் ஒர்க் ஷாப்ஸ் தே ஆர் ஈஸி டு கெட் சர்டிஃபிகேட்ஸ் அண்ட் தெர் இஸ் நோ அசஸ்மெண்ட் தே ஆர் யூஸ்வலி கண்டக்டட் பை பிரைவேட் இன்ஸ்டிடியூஷன்ஸ் or colleges or by private hospitals the disadvantages is that their certificate is not so valid and there is no comprehensive knowledge gained because once the workshop is over our knowledge fades away daily next is about the online portals the prominent portals would be medversity which costs rupees 10000 for 3 months and medmastery which costs 40 dollars per month and udemy it is flooded with courses and not many courses offer certificates and not many courses are complete so the major disadvantages of these online portals is that it is very high cost consuming next is sponsored courses they are usually done by pharma companies for healthcare workers and the major problem is their certificates will contain the pharma company's logo and their representatives names so it won't appear good the option which i am trying to convey to you is about the swayam courses it is highly credible source swayam is a program initiated by government of india and it is designed to achieve three cardinal principles of education which are equity access and quality so all swayam courses have a national coordinator which is aict which is nothing but all india council for technical education so regarding the credibility of the swayam courses everyone working in medical college would know especially the faculties about the bcbr course which is nothing but a basic course in biomedical research it is a nmc recognized course and nmc recently launched their gazette showing that any faculty who is working in a medical college should have completed that the bcbr course this bcbr course is one of the swayam courses so swayam which now offers ecg interpretation course has similar credibility or equal credibility to that of the bcbr course next is who are all eligible mbbs students post graduates nurses crma crri interns faculties paramedicals everyone above age of 18 are eligible so how to enroll for this you can directly visit swayam.gov.in or you can just google swayam ecg course it will create a profile like this and you can register using your email you can join the course once you click join the course it will ask for your bio data your uh, experience or whether you are a student and it will ask you to upload your photographs and signatures and then you can easily schedule an exam the next exam is on 25th of september 2022 the exam fees is just 1000 for students and 1100 for faculties what will be the flow for this course first you have to register and schedule an exam the exam date is 25th september 2022 then you have to follow the course content in this four weeks between 25 july and 19th of august you can go through the video lectures given on the portal each portion will have separate assignment and these assignments are mcq questions around the knowledge gained from the topics this can be taken up anywhere in your phone tab or laptop in order to become eligible for the main exam which is a computer based exam where you go and write the exam on their system in order to become eligible for that you have to finish the assignments on specific dates but the dates are yet to be released and you have to qualify in these assignments that is the most important point you have to finish the assignments and you have to qualify in them so what are the portions in the first week it will be physiology portions like vectors cardiac activity p wave qrs like that second week would be pathology and the third and the fourth week are the most crucial weeks majority of the questions i expect to be present in the third weeks and the fourth weeks which are coming from general medicine okay so they will be discussing about sinus arrhythmia atrial fibrillation atrial flutter ventricular tachycardia myocardial infarction dyslipidolemias and all non cardiac uses of ecgs also what is the eligibility to get a certificate so you have two scores one is the assessment score another is the final score for the assessment score there will be four assessments you have to give and the best of the three assessments will be taken the average of the three assessments will be taken and 25% of the mark will be taken as the final assessment score for the in person score you will have 100 questions and 75% of the mark will be taken for the in person score and your final score will be average assignment score plus exam score you will be eligible for a certificate only if 
the assignment score is more than 10 out of 25 and exam score is more than 30 out of 75. What are the benefits of this ECG course? First, it builds your resume. It makes you look good ahead of your competitors for a job or a vacancy. It boosts your con confidence to handle emergencies. Apart from that, it gives one NMC credit points also. It gives you the much needed recognition and it can even impress your social media followers. I'll tell you how. So this is the model certificate which I have downloaded from their website. It will have your own photo, name, course name, assessment marks, practical exam marks which is the CBT exam marks and NPTEL logo and IIT Madras logo. IIT Madras is the convener for this exam and Swayam logo. So it is highly credible. This certificate is verifiable by your superiors online itself by scanning this QR code. And you can also improve your LinkedIn profile accomplishments directly by linking your LinkedIn profile to Swayam so that the certificates will automatically get published in your accomplishments portions in your LinkedIn profile. Now comes the major question, where and what to study. The study content which Swayam gives are the course videos in their portal. But what are the pitfalls which I found was there were no practice CCGs which were given. Practice CCGs are really necessary because once you learn the theoretical concepts of ECG, you have to work these ECGs out. So practice ECGs were not given. They will definitely give assignments, but you cannot take risk with these assignments because Assignment mark is very important to attend the CBT exam. If you don't score well in the assignments, you will not be given the entry ticket into the CBT exam. And next, there is no doubt support with this portal. Doubt support is one of the crucial features for learning ECGs. Being in a medical college, I know how interns and PGs will find hard and they will have new doubts arise on them especially when we give them an ECG. So doubt support is really crucial, which is lagging here. Next, the video lengths are quite long. It has to be shortened. Next, the class notes. After listening to the videos, there was no notes given for the students to understand and learn later. So I would like to suggest you one more platform, which is named ECG BNB. It has a Android app, iOS app, as well as a web application. It is an easy way for ECG literacy. You can easily check out ECG BNB by typing the name in Play Store. Or if you are an iOS user, you can go to the App Store, type Class Plus app and download the app and you can enter the organization code as YUBXO. You will be taken directly into the ECG BNB content. Once you sign up, you can go to the store section option which is present at the bottom. Choose the course ECG Alpha which would be ideal for you. You can pay up for the course or you can ask for a coupon code in the chat option which is next to the store option. MBBS students, PGs and interns get up to 70% off. What does ECG BNB do for us? First, it offers personalized doubt support in the chat. You can post your ECGs and ask your doubt either through a voice message or by a text message and you will receive replies either in video format or audio format or as a text message itself. And doubt support is 24-7. The video lens in ECG BNB is very short and it is crisp and clear. And the entire ECG content is divided into levels and sub-levels. There are levels between 1 to 10 and each level will have some sub-levels. Each sub-level will have a video and class notes to revise on the content of the video and mainly there will be a lot of practice ECGs where you can try, make error, relearn, repeat. ECG BNB has launched SYM discussion content inside ECG Alpha. Difficult concepts from the course shall be discussed in simple manner. Further, the assignments once released shall be discussed in video format with solving tips. You can cross check your personal answers in case you have submitted your assignments or you can watch the discussion first, revise, relearn the concepts and then take on your assignments in a confident manner. I would like to remind you of a quote which says, anything worth doing is worth doing right the first time itself. So if you are any person looking to do a valid certificate course in ECG, then I hope you do it right the first time itself. Thank you.